Swane Krupp and welcome to Thailand News Today and a big thank you to the three motorcycle taxi drivers, the wind drivers who rounded me up when I was trying to grab a grab bike this afternoon in Sukhumvit Soy 33. Thank you very much for hassling us and wasting five minutes of my time. Uh, was not really appreciated, so just be careful if you're down near Sukhumvit 33 if you see a whole lot of... Um, well, fairly arrogant looking motorcycle drivers. Anyway, enough about me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's do the news. The former head of Thai immigration and the poster boy of Thai officialdom, Surachat Hakpan, is suing the Thai prime minister after being unceremoniously dumped last year and not hearing anything from him since. Surachat, commonly known by the nickname Big Joke, a nickname given to him by Thai media, accuses the Prime Minister of transferring him without just cause and has been petitioning for a review of the situation ever since. At the time, there was no reason given for the high-profile head of Thailand's immigration to be sidelined to desk duties at the PM's office. Surachat's lawyer says that in the one year and five months since his client's transfer, there's been no investigation launched against him and that he should immediately be reinstated. At the height of his fame in 2017 and 2018, Surachat's face was everywhere in daily media reports, often seen with hordes of foreigners. His team had rounded up in immigration crackdowns across the country. But at some point, he appears to have stepped on the wrong toes calling into question procurement practices at the Immigration Bureau amid plans to spend billions on smart cars and the airport's biometric systems. Surachat was dumped and sidelined. The purchases went ahead. Four Thai banks are having questions asked after an international money laundering investigation has questioned 92 suspicious transactions. The transactions totaled 9.5 million US dollars received in Thailand and 31,750,000 US dollars sent out. Files were allegedly leaked from the US Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. The FinCen Files report reveals that the role of global banks in industrial scale money laundering, citing a total of 2 trillion US dollars in suspicious global transactions from 1997 to 2017. The Thai Anti-Money Laundering Office plans to investigate Kasakorn Bank, Bangkok Bank, good heavens, that's my bank, Krung Thai Bank and the Export-Import Bank of Thailand. But he says the information from the international report needs to be verified first. Prostitution could be further decriminalised in Thailand. A petition is currently doing the rounds, asking for prostitutes and sex workers not to be harassed and fined. The Empower Foundation, which supports sex workers, is trying to collect 10,000 signatures before they send it to Parliament. Also known as the Centre for Sex Workers Protection, Empower is a non-profit organisation in Thailand that supports sex workers by offering free classes in language, health, law and pre-college education, as well as individual counselling. Prostitution is not illegal in Thailand, although many activities associated with it are, like brothels, soliciting, pimping and causing a public nuisance. Still, the underground industry is estimated to be worth 6.4 billion US dollars a year. Activists say prostitution laws do little to protect sex workers. Fines and arrests for soliciting sex have pushed some sex workers into poverty, most of them being women. Thailand is estimated to have up to 200,000 sex workers, many of them now unemployed, with no recourse to unemployment benefits or official help during the pandemic. So it looks like we're going to have a holiday-led economic recovery here in Thailand. Two new holidays have been announced, a four-day long weekend in November and another one in December. In both cases, the extended weekends will be four days each, adding the Thursdays and Fridays before the weekend. Given the exodus of foreigners this week, there will be fewer of the stranded expats and foreign visitors to add to the economic tally of the additional holidays. So put it in your diaries, November the 19th to the 22nd and December the 10th to the 13th. And a man working as a food delivery driver in the southern province of Songkhla has handed himself into police after being filmed riding around Songkhla 
naked. The 24-year-old handed himself into police, explaining that he'd taken his clothes off due to a personal problem. The nature of the problem isn't known, and police let the man go with a 500 baht fine. Hopefully he spends it on clothes. A video was posted on social media showing the naked young man hurtling along on his motorbike, which had a food delivery bag on the back. The video is now being deleted, just in case you go looking for it. According to a motorcycle taxi driver witness, the man parked his bike in front of a local temple, removed his clothes, then got back on the bike and drove off. Social media response was mixed with most just inquisitive about his motives to ride commando with little protection. Actually, no protection at all. So that's our main news from around Thailand today. Thank you very much for joining us and please subscribe to the channel. That's good for us and it also helps you get some alerts. We'll do our best to keep you informed and you can always go to thetiger.com to catch up with all the latest news. See you tomorrow.